I'm here with Mark Huygens from DEME and one of the lecturers for the Dredging for Sustainable Infrastructure course and one of the contributors to the book. Mark, um, why did you start applying the guidelines from the book within your organization? Well, uh, as an environmental manager of uh, the DEME group, uh, we are strongly convinced that uh, the sustainable way is the only way to go forward. And that was one of the main uh, reasons to start working on the book uh, uh, initially and of course to, to start applying uh, the book in our, in our common practice. Because what we believe today is that uh, indeed every kind of marine works that uh, we should work on in the near future, and I hope it, is, uh, the, it will be the very near future, will be more sustainable, taking into account not only the technical features but also the what we call then externalities like social and uh, uh, environmental issues uh, into the design, into the engineering and into the realization of these kind of projects. I think that's a very nice reason to start this uh, uh, applicating uh, this kind of uh, guidance as uh, uh, formulated in this uh, excellent booklet. As one of the lectures for the DFSI course, why should people uh, to par take part of the course or reading the book? And do we have some some guidelines or some, some reasons for that? Well, well um, one of the main reasons is that uh, you get the feeling that you are not alone. Just by reading the book on your own, perhaps you will get the feeling uh, of being alone, uh, having this kind of sustainable thinking in mind. Uh, when you attend uh, our, our workshops on, on the book, uh, there are quite a lot of people uh, together with you there, thinking in the same direction. And out of that group uh, 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 emotion, I think you get uh, enforced to apply uh, these guidelines uh, much more in your daily practice.